Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about industrial production of penicillin. Before learning about industrial production of penicillin, first we should know about what is penicillin. Penicillins are a group of beta-lactam antibiotics or secondary metabolites obtained from penicillium species, mainly from penicillium chrysogenum and penicillium rubens. Most penicillins in clinical use are synthesized by penicillium chrysogenum. It was the first discovered antibiotic by a famous scientist Alexander Fleming in 1928. It was a serendipity discovery which means it was accidentally discovered. Regarding the mode of action of penicillin, it acts as a cell wall inhibitor. It inhibits the peptidoglycan synthesis in bacteria. Penicillin is a group of antibiotics which includes penicillin G, penicillin V, amoxicillin, ampicillin, methicillin, etc. These are some penicillin derivatives. It is a narrow spectrum antibiotics that is able to kill or inhibit certain species of bacteria. Penicillin is more effective against gram positive bacteria and is less effective against gram negative bacteria. See here, this is the picture of Penicillium chrysogenum and this is the structure of Penicillium chrysogenum. Now, take a look at the general structure of penicillin. It contains beta-lactam ring, thiazolidin ring and acyl side chain. This part known as, this part known as constant region which is called 6-amino penicillinic acid. It is a constant region for all kind of penicillin derivatives. And this acyl side chain only varies. In the acyl side chain, if it is a phenyl acetic acid, then we obtain a penicillin derivative penicillin G. Like this, the R group is modified to get the desired penicillin derivatives. Some of the R group modified penicillin derivatives are penicillin V, penicillin G, ampicillin, amoxicillin and methicillin etc. There are 5 steps involved in the penicillin production. First step is selection of microorganism. Second step is selection of raw materials. Third step is preparation of inoculum. Fourth step is fermentation process. And finally recovery process. Let's see this one by one in detail. First step is selection of microorganisms. So we already know that penicillin is obtained from the fungal mold penicillium species. In earlier days, Penicillium notatum was used. Nowadays, Penicillium chrysogenum is used for its high yield. For industrial production of penicillin, Penicillium chrysogenum X1612 strain, which is genetically engineered strain, is used for industrial production. The production strain, Penicillium chrysogenum, was stored by three methods. By mixing of spore suspension with sterile inert support, soil or sand and it is desiccated which means extreme dryness. In lyophilization method, the spore suspension will undergo the process of freeze drying. After that, it can be stored for several years without losing its viability. In another method, the spore suspension will be stored in liquid nitrogen in a frozen state. So these are the methods used for penicillium storage. Second step is selection of raw materials. Certain points should be kept in mind during the selection of raw materials are the raw materials should provide abundant growth of mycelium and then maximum accumulation of penicillium. The raw materials should make ease of extraction and purification of antibiotics. Fungi requires medium for its growth, so we should provide synthetic or artificial medium for the, for the growth of fungi. The raw materials used for the synthetic medium are carbon sources such as lactose, it acts as a satisfactory carbon source. Glucose and sucrose may be used as substitutes for lactose. Glycerol and sorbitol also used. In case of nitrogen sources, ammonium sulfate, ammonium acetate, and ammonium lactate are used. Nitrogen is often supplied as ammonia gas and the corn steep liquor it also supplies as cheap and readily available nitrogen. In case of mineral sources potassium, phosphorus, magnesium, sulfur etc. these salts are used. 
so these are the raw materials used for the media preparation the third step involves preparation of inoculum the aim is to develop a pure inoculum in sufficient volume there are two types of inoculum are used seed stage culture and production stage culture in the seed stage culture the fungal spores are used they are collected by microchapper and then it is inoculated in the fermentation medium whereas in production stage culture the fungal mycelium is used and this fungal mycelium is directly inoculated in the fermenter mostly liquid medium is used for this production stage culture the main difference here is fungal spores are used for seed stage culture and fungal mycelium is used for production stage culture so this is how the inoculum are prepared there are three methods for microbial inoculation dry spore method suspension of spores and pellet inoculum in dry spore method the dry spores are inoculated in the fermentation medium in case of suspension of spores a non toxic lauryl sulfonate or sterile water is used to make a suspension and this suspension is used for inoculation in the fermenter and it can be applied by spray guns or pipettes in the pellet inoculum method the suspension of germinated spores with the formation of mycelial growth at the surface of medium are used so what is pellet in case if this is a vial which contains the medium the spores are inoculated in it the spores will produce mycelial growth at the surface of the medium so the mycelial growth at the surface of medium is known as the pellet this pellet portion is directly added into the fermentation medium mostly pellet inoculum method is used rather than dry spore and suspension of spore method for fermentation medium the medium suggested by moyer and cogill was used for the industrial production of penicillin it contains glycerol cane molasses constip liquor magnesium potassium salts etc so these are the ingredients used for fermentation medium the fourth step is fermentation process in the fermenter the raw material or synthetic medium is added and then the fungal mycelium is inoculated in the fermenter the temperature should be maintained at 20 to 24 degree celsius and then the ph should be maintained around 6.5 to 7 which is a neutral ph after that it is incubated for 6 to 7 days for the completion of fermentation process after the fermentation process will go for recovery process the first step of recovery process is filtration Several types of vacuum filters are used to remove the mycelia and then the phosphoric acid is added to lower the pH this will lead to the conversion of penicillin into anionic form which will leads to the formation of precipitation of penicillin then immediately the broth is extracted by counter current extraction method in which the organic solvents are used such as alkyl butyl acetate or amyl acetate then back extract penicillin by adding inorganic solvent like potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide to form salt of penicillin and this salt of penicillin will be washed filtered and dried further it will be chemically or enzymatically modified to get the desired penicillin product see here this is the picture of fermenter producing penicillin through this inlet only the medium is added into the fermenter for the fungal growth the fermentation process will be takes place here through this inlet only the steam or cold water is used to control the temperature and through this outlet the steam or cold water is removed so after the completion of fermentation process the culture will be removed through this outlet I hope you all understood thank you for listening